Go on, just follow it in, right? That's all we're here to do right to start. Nice. That's it. Just, just follow it right in there. in control buddy just in control all you got to do is catch drop catch drop right i know you can windmill and make the big ca it's just catch and drop just working on just tracking it in all right buddy oh my bad nice that's it nice and controlled nice bud see now what you find is your body is even when you're doing that now because you're doing this it all looks more controlled Worry about it. It's gonna catch a cheater on a couple legs. That's it. Ah, boy, that's the one I'm looking for right there. Nice. Froze on. You center a little bit. There you go. That looks good, man. Nice work. It. That's it. Remember to keep that glove forward, right? If you're going to catch, don't let it bring you back here, right? Because if you bring it back here and it catches a piece and goes down, it might fall down behind you, right? So try to keep it out forward. But man, you got a good glove. You got a real good glove. That a boy. That's right on the money. See it more controlled already. Look at that, see? Glove forward, where'd it go? Over the net, right? My bad. White puck. Nice, buddy. Blocker. Nice and controlled there, bud. Real nice and controlled. See? The whole purpose of that is like, is just to get you working on just tracking it in, getting everyone in that webbing. Even after those 10 shots, I already saw significantly more control there, right? And that's what you want, you want control. You want the ability to make that big windmill save, right? But you want to just control, make it look easy. You know what I mean? Be good, make it look easy, right? Do you want a couple more gloves or you want to go block? Blocker? The glove looks good there, man, real good. It. So with your blocker, all right, everything that, turn it out. If it comes in here, if it comes in here on your body, bring your blocker in yeah. and angle it off, all right? So be patient. So rather than punching, bring it in tight to your body and angle it off. Yeah, exactly, if it gets in tight, right? That's it. Atta boy. That a boy, nice. Ah, well, first one. That a boy. Dandy. Yes, boy. Everything in the corner, unreal. Step out a little. Nice. Now there's nothing to shoot at. It. Andy. Very nice and controlled. Right? It's in right, the right spot. On the money, man. That's it. Nice and tight on the glove. Good job. <laughs> quick learner, buddy. You're a quick learner. I 
last one. Pretty good, buddy. That's nice, man. Really good job. Really good job. How'd you feel about that? Controlled? Yeah. That's what it was. Nice and controlled. And you brought it in here on that? Look gorgeous, man. Look like you've been doing it for years. Bringing in what? That when it's coming in here? Yeah. You bring it in, what? Yeah. They teach you to bring it in like that? They yeah. never. They never? No. Why not? Because uh. they don't know what they're doing. That's why you bring it in here. Yeah. See how work, easy that worked for you? Yeah. You closed up every hole in here. Yeah. Just shrugged it off. Be impatient. We'll do some pads quick, all right? Now, what you're going to find when you're out at this distance, all right? You can be more patient with your leg kicks, all right? When you're out here, all right, and you go down your butterfly, especially with that nice spread stance you got, I guarantee you there's very little space post to post. See where my feet are? If I get on the butterfly like that, there's like almost nothing. So you can be very patient, right? Let your pads do the steering, and it's really your stick you're using, right? Really your stick you're using to control the pads that are there for backup, right? So let's do some pads. Just to make sure the technique's on the money. Like everything else has been so far, bud. Glove side first, all right? Sit, yeah, use your stick, right? The pad's nice and sealed, all right? That's it, that's good. But use your stick to, to keep those rebounds off to the side. That a boy, yeah. Keep it flat, too. Keep your pad flat behind. Sit, nice. Sit. It's all right. Rebound out front. Use that stick. Tell you what we're gonna do. Let's get you to stay in your butterfly here. All right. I'm gonna shoot them pretty quick off the right pad and the left pad. I want you to work on keeping it flat, but using that stick to steer. All right. So, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like that. And even yeah, and squeeze. I'm telling you right now, man. Like even like that, it's very tough to find a hole to beat you. Right? And your gloves, if I'm out here like this, all right? If I'm out here like this, yeah, gloves up. But the tighter I get in, gloves come down, all right? Because what you'll find is that if I'm here with the puck, the only place there's any holes is right there. So they got to come right down there and, yeah, tight, yeah. I'm going to need to bring them like that, right? Make them as big as possible down here, right? Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah, let's see what I'm saying. All right. So... Angle your stick a little more, buddy. There you go. Pad, glove side. Atta boy. Atta boy. Get off, bud. That's it, rebound. Try to keep that leg flat. That's it, try to keep that pad flat. Oh, that was a heavy one. Never mind that one. That's it. That's it. Now you're keeping that pad flat behind, too. That's it. Grab me some pox, will you, Chris? Over a little, buddy. There you go. Keep it flat, eh? Keep it flat. That's it, see? What happens if your stick's not there, the pad's there to back it up, right? Sit, nice. Dandy, man, dandy. You're only stretching now for the further ones out, which is excellent, that's what I want to see. Good job, block side, all right? Let me get these guys out of here. Throws on there. Black side, all right? So now, when you're going to your glove side, all right? When you're deflecting pucks, notice how you were having most of your luck deflecting them off here and off here, mm -hmm. right? When it comes to this side, if you want to ride it off to the corner, you're going to want to get this part of the blade on it, yeah. all right? So you kind of sweep out, like, you know what I mean? Boom, there you go. There you go, exactly.
see your pad? You kept it flat, right? You had a less aggressive kick than you did on the other side. So where'd the rebound go? Down there. If you keep your pad sealed, flat to the ice, and just follow it in, your pads will do the work at this distance, right? The more aggressive your kick is, the more it sends the rebound back out in the slot, right? So that's why I want you to calm down the glove pad a little, all right? You're doing really well with it, right? But we wanna keep those rebounds over here, right? Just like you're doing on this side, right? That's it, over a little. That's it, even a little more. There you go. Nice. That's it, that's what I'm talking about. That's that controlled patience. Well, you're gonna be on point in this game you're gonna play. Boom. Nice work. So now what we're gonna do, we've done each pad, that looks nice, man. You see how that controlled patience works there? Now what we're gonna do is your midsection, all right? So basically like pitch and catch. What you do is when it's coming to your midsection, you go down, you drop down your butterfly, right? You receive, you close up their arms. Exactly, receive in there, right? So you almost sit back as it's coming, exactly, right? Cradle as it's coming in, just like